Yo, what is going on guys? It is Huggy Phase Gaming here and I know this might look strange because you're seeing this Team Samurai X1 playmat with the three Egyptian gods and you might be thinking, Huggy Phase, what are you actually doing? And for me, I was kind of debating if I was even going to be doing this video or not, but I thought that it's something that I'd want to have just for my own recollection for the near future. So I do apologize if this isn't everyone's cup of tea. Um, The one thing that I'm going to be showing to you guys is my recent pickups, like my collection that I've been going for for a couple of months now it's actually the kazuki takahashi signed cards um growing up i remember i had about 10 ish of them and for some reason i thought i had them all but apparently there's 25 of them um if for all of you guys who are Yu-Gi-Oh fanatics and watch this video you can let me know in the comment section below if there's more than 25 but if this is the whole collection i'm happy with it but if there's more I'll most likely get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get them all if I need to. And the way that I actually am ordering these cards is from um, the actual cheapest to the most expensive. So that way you guys could kind of have like a ballpark as to how much the cards cost me when I purchased them. And you can let me know whether I was ripped off or they were a good deal. And also before I do begin, I do apologize if you hear barking in the background. Uh, there is a dog here that we're taking care of, which is a blue healer, high energy, a really, really good like farm dog and cattle dog but not good when it comes to the city so he's just barking up a storm out there so without further ado i'm gonna be going down the list i have my trusty list here with all the names and the prices so we are actually going to start um and i feel like this is going to be a quick video i'm gonna be just showcasing the cards the price and just moving on um there might be some glare due to like the protective that i actually got i got the magnet protective cases for these cards just because i felt like they were a bit better to actually have in these rather than the top loaders but the first one we have here and you can see my reflection hey everybody uh <laughs> my first card here is neo kaiser glider um when it comes to this card i picked it up for a dollar and 50 cents um it's one of the more cheaper on end cards just because you could actually find this within a lot of like the gold tens and everything like that so it's a lot more of an affordable card like i mentioned a dollar fifty uh, all of these prices are going to be usd so you could convert it to whatever you feel like yours is but yes this is the very first one like i mentioned i was really happy that this is one of uh, the cheaper end cards because some of these do tend to get very very pricey and then moving right along because like i mentioned i don't want this to be too long because there's 25 of them but the next one is magician of black chaos max um, when it comes to a lot of these cards i don't necessarily know the condition that i got them in uh, every time i bought these i got all of these cards on ebay uh, some of them mentioned that they're either new or lightly played but when i get to like the more expensive cards you'll notice a bit more of the damage and i'm pretty sure a lot of you Yu Gi Oh players out there will notice a lot more of the the finer details than myself but Going back to Magician of Black Chaos Max, this card cost me $2.85, so we're getting up there in regards to the price, but still a pretty good find and a pretty good price for a card like this. Um, I'm assuming obviously the more expensive ones, or even like these less expensive ones, are the ones you can easily find in tins and packs, so that makes up for it. The next one we have here is Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. I actually really, really like this design. Um, I don't think if you could actually tell, but there might be a little bit of a scratching on there. Uh, all of these cards, I believe, are holographic, but due to like my lighting, they're uh, <laughs> they're not shining as bright as they should possibly be. So I like showing the front and the back because that kind of gives you a bit more of an estimate as to whether these cards are centered or damaged from the back or the front. But like I could see this one. Oh no, it's actually the the case as to what that line is. But this card is really really nice. And when it comes to this card, I picked it up for three dollars and fifty cents. So as you can see, it's almost a dollar more than the previous one. All of these cards are really, really good. Um, I actually enjoyed collecting these for a while, but I didn't know that there was 25, so I went ahead and I tried my hardest to really find all of them. So it's going to be hard for this one because <laughs> I just could never pronounce the name right. And I don't know if any of you guys know how to pronounce it right either. I call it uh, Gyatuni Megami. Me and my friends just call it Megami just because we don't want to pronounce that very, very first one. But I really do like the subtle, just like the white with the, the rainbow holographic in the back. Uh, as you can see, there is a little bit of damage on the corners, which is unfortunate. And that's another thing when it comes to me with these cards, I don't plan on getting them graded. Um, so just any condition for these is actually fine with me. But this one, Megami, cost me $6.72. Uh, like I'm mentioning a lot more on the actual cheaper end when it comes to this one. 
Uh, this was a card that I didn't even know existed, uh, Palladium Oracle Mana. Um, I didn't know this was an actual card. For some reason, a lot of these cards that I missed, I thought were just kind of like fan-created stuff and not real, but this one was one of them. You can see the signature down there. Uh, it's a really, really cool card. Um, one that really flew under my radar. Uh, there seems to be just minor damage on the crevices and everything, but at the end of the day, this card in and of itself cost me $9.88. So I think the next couple of ones are going to be in that range, and that's where we're going to be kind of moving up and spiking in price. But yes, a lot of these cards, as you can see, were under the $10 mark. And I think we're going to be continuing with that as well, because the next one, as we can see, is Exodia, the Legendary Defender. Next one on the list that I was able to pick up. Um, didn't even know that this card existed either. It's really crazy to me that I did not know that any of these cards existed. I'm not too, too big into like, you know, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But I do like collecting some of these cards. And when I saw that there was more than the 10 that I had, I felt like it was only best for me to actually complete the collection. Um, so when it comes to this Exodia, it cost me $9.89. So just a couple of cents more than the Palladium card. Really, really nice card. Um, I don't know how useful any of these are, like in actual tournament play, but for me, like I mentioned, I'm kind of just doing this for the actual collection. Um, the next one is a bit different. Uh, many of you guys are gonna be knowing this very, very well. Um, it is Obelisk the Tormentor. Really cool card. I remember I used to use this card a lot when I was actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh! For some reason, I never thought to actually keep this into like an actual collection. Pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with the God cards. So the reason why I'm doing this is because Obelisk, as well as Slifer the Sky Dragon here. Slifer the Sky Dragon, my bad. I remember this card used to be really expensive. Uh, my brother actually got me one of these cards once when it was like at the peak price. It was like over $100 for some reason. Um, the scratch here is actually from the, the case, not the card. Um, but I remember this card used to be like very, very expensive for some reason. And then obviously they did like the, the reprints, which actually devalued um, a lot of the God cards, which you'll note when I actually list the price. But here is the other one, which is the Winged Dragon of Raw. Really, really cool one. If I had to choose between any of them, I would have to say that I like Obelisk the most. Um, just because of the design as well as the effect. I know there's a lot more support when it comes to the Winged Dragon of Ra as well as Slifer the Sky Dragon, but Obelisk was always the one that kind of tickled my fancy. Um, but the reason why I bring up the three of these is because I actually bought these three in bulk. Um, the price turned out to be $9.95 for the three of these. Obviously, you could get them separately for like the higher end rarity. Uh, but for me, since I just wanted the collection, I didn't mind just doing the, the cheaper end, which is the $9.95. But if you guys want the more expensive ones, go for it. For me, the $9.95 for the collection is good enough for me. Moving on to another one that I didn't know existed, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. This is a really, really cool looking art that I do enjoy looking at. I didn't even know this, this is another one that actually slipped through my mind that I didn't even know it was an actual card, but came in really, really good condition and I got chickens next to me now, so <laughs> it's a real big party over here when I'm trying to record something like this. Um, but when it comes to the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, this card in and of itself came in at about $10. So it was $9.99 for this card and i believe if i'm looking at my listings right here this might actually be the last card that is under ten dollars everything else starts to go up in price not too much but you'll start to notice when i get to some of the cards that they do go up in value very very much so um here is going to be the actual first japanese only card uh, i believe it's called amkaribo this is one of the ones that for there's I think there's like four of them that only come with like the actual Japanese text and they're not printed in English. Um, this is going to be one of them. This one was one that also slipped through my radar, but I thought it was a really really cool addition to the actual collection, especially since it's so simplistic in its actual design. And when it comes to and Karibo, this one actually cost me $12.80. Um, don't necessarily know about the listings when it comes to some of these cards, but like I mentioned, you guys could let me know uh, what these cards are actually worth, if you actually know, or if they're going up in price or down in price. For some reason, there's like really nasty markings on this one. This is not the card, this is actually just a case. So I need to get these cases clean for what they're worth. So yeah, like I mentioned, and Karibo, $12.80 for those who are wondering. 
The next one here is another Japanese card, which is Magi Magi Magician. Uh, I always saw this one, but I never thought it was actually real until I recently picked it up and I saw like the listings for it on eBay. Um, so it was a really, really cool one. Very, very unique with just like the standard, just complete black that it actually has. Um, when it comes to this card in and of itself, it cost me $14.87, um, which like we're mentioning, the, the prices are tending to get a bit higher now, now that we're past the $10 mark, but you could get a pretty good, decent amount of collection from just under the $10, but this is one that for some reason is starting to jump in price or go up in price when it comes to these. Um, another one for my personal collection is Shiba Waru Taro. This is the one that is next. Really cool backstory behind it, like what the card actually represents and what the actual design is for. Fortunately, there's just minor corner damages there and everything. But if you're looking to get this card, this card in and of itself right now is worth $15. That's how much I paid for it. I don't know. Like I mentioned, you guys can let me know if prices are going up or down. Um, but for this one, it is going to run you guys a bit more, which is like the, the $15 mark damn these animals are going crazy today i don't know what's going on especially with the dog the chickens everything is just really really loud uh, but moving along this is another one from my personal collection i actually grew up with these some of these cards um so this one is celtic guardian really really cool redesign of the classic yugi card uh doesn't seem to oh it has like the the corner damages and everything as you can tell but this is one of my favorite little arts uh do like the full like battle little scene that we're getting there as well as like the white hol the white holographic ones are always really really cool especially since you can see them a lot better um but if you're trying to get this card this card actually ran me 16 dollars and 12 cents um so it's a bit more than shiba warrior tarot but as you can see we are starting to kind of jump up in price and it'd be interesting once i upload this video how much some of these cards either went up or down i'm pretty sure these like smaller ones are probably still the same if not cheaper but we'll have to see and then the next one moving forward which was my brother's favorite growing up um, his art which was the summon skull art i really like the actual like you know like uh, when it comes to these cards i feel like the ones with the white backgrounds do it for me because you could see the holographic just a bit better um, the only thing about this card is i think like that dot there is part of the card damage it's not part of this actual casing and you guys probably can't tell because of my camera quality my camera quality sucks uh but there is a lot of like especially when it comes to like the the ones with the white backgrounds you could like definitely tell when there's scratches there and everything so that's the the thing that kind of sucks but when it comes to the summon skull this one actually jumps up in price um this one for me cost me twenty dollars so if you're looking for this card that's going to be the that's the price i paid who knows if it went up or down but a really really cool addition to the collection and a lot of fond memories of my brother playing this against me that's the thing that sucks is that we kind of just used some of these cards. <laughs> we didn't know that they would actually be like valuable or anything. Uh, moving right along, we have Buster Blader. Uh, I don't necessarily know what I feel about the design. I know a lot of people prefer the OG Buster Blader compared to this one. I do like this one, but maybe I do fit with the majority when they actually say that the other Buster Blader design is a lot better. As you can see, it does have damages on the side, which is pretty, pretty bad. But at the end of the day, really, really cool card to have to my collection. And this card, it cost me $20.41. So just a couple cents more than the Summon School. But nonetheless, like $20 is $20 for people. So we'll be putting that into the actual collection. The next one was one that I didn't even know existed again. Um, it's actually the Dark Magician Girl one. Um, I didn't know that it actually came in English. If this is like a fake one, who really knows? But I do see like a lot of them being more like in the Japanese side of things. But I think this might be a real one. Obviously, it does have like the damage and everything though. Um, so I was really excited to put this one into my actual collection and actually complete the majority of the stuff that I was looking for. Uh, when it comes to the Dark Magician Girl, this one actually jumps up to $22.50. So that's how much I actually pay for them. Man, after doing this video, I need to really go back and clean some of these sleeves. I don't know what happened to them, but they actually started getting dirty. I should probably put them somewhere protective at least because you could see there's a lot of gunk on them. But yeah, uh, like I mentioned, $2, $22.50 for this Dark Magician Girl. And uh, it does have some damage, but at the end of the day, that's a, a pretty, pretty good price for what you're trying to pay here. Moving forward, it's one of my favorite designs. It's actually Jinzo. Um, I do like the, the sparkly little purple-ish, pinkish that you have in the background. Um, I feel like I like this art a bit more than the original Jinzo card art. 
um, but that's just me personally. I remember I used to run this form when I actually had it back in uh, my original decks. I'm just having it for fun there. I used to run like a lot of these cards in that deck of mine, so I was probably ruining those cards before I accidentally uh, gave my binder to uh, someone that I thought was a friend and never, you know, never returned it. So I had to rebuy these. But yeah, this was one of the ones that I genuinely did enjoy having in my deck just because of how it looked. Um, this Jinzo ran me $25. Um, I don't necessarily know if it's going up or down. I feel like this one tends to be a standard when it comes to price. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, if you're trying to get this one, it will run you $25. Or it ran me $25. Who knows how much it will be for all of you. Upcoming one, classic, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I uh, really enjoyed this one when I used to run like a black, uh, a red eyes deck. I used to always have this one in there too. That's what I'm starting to realize. I probably should not have been, you know, playing these cards in an actual main deck and I had these more for like collection purposes when I was growing up. Um, but this one seems to be in a little bit better of a condition. Um, really enjoy this art, especially with how it actually looks with like the, I think that's like a, either a planet or a volcano under it. And even like the holographic does shine a bit better when it comes to this card. Um, this card does jump up in price because we went from the Genzo of 25. This one for me cost me 38. So we're going to start seeing a lot of the, the spike in prices within these upcoming, the upcoming cards here that we actually have for you guys. We'll put that down here. This other one, I think, is a more recent card um, because I didn't know it existed until much, much more recently. It's actually this uh, jump promo card with the blue eyes and the Kaiba. Um, you probably won't be able to tell it through here, but there's actually like a cool like holographic, uh, like kind of like a, I guess like a dual disc effect kind of going around the card when it comes to this one. So it was a much uh, more of a sick card that I actually saw. Obviously, it does have the damage and everything, but... In and of itself, I do like how we get to see, obviously, Kaiba with his main monster, that being the blue eyes when it comes to this jump promo. And I wish, oh, there you go. If you tilt it a little bit, you can actually see, like, the dual disc effect on the actual card, which I find to be a really, really cool addition to this one overall. So if you're trying to get this one, this one ran me $49.83. Um, that's how much this one cost me, but obviously, like I mentioned, I just never know if the prices are going up or down. It seems like a lot of people do want this one, though, so maybe it'll go up, maybe it'll go down. It really depends on what you're looking for. Really, really cool one, though. I'm not going to lie. And then, speaking about Kaiba and his blue eyes, the next one that we have is going to be the blue eyes white dragon with the YAP1. This one, for some reason, a lot of people do like and a lot of people do hunt for. Because when I was on eBay, so many people were betting for this card. There's a lot of people bidding for this one. I was able to get this one at a pretty affordable price. Although, you know, once I got the card, I didn't notice a bit of the, the damage back here, which isn't the most fun to do. But at the end of the day, like, it, it's a really, really nice card to have in the collection. And this one kind of goes up in price as well because it goes up to $50 flat. That's how much I paid for it. So it's kind of a couple cents more than this one. But at the end of the day, for a lot of people, that could be a pretty uh, expensive $50 to put on a single card. Moving on from Kaiba's boss monster, we go to Yugi's boss monster, the Dark Magician. I have so many fond memories with this card, especially with, uh, like I mentioned, whenever it comes to the white background, I just, oof, I just love the white background. The fact that he's black and white, even better, just matches the actual background. Uh, when I got this card, I didn't notice too, too much damage, but with the camera quality, you can tell. But there is a lot of scratches when it comes to the actual holographic white pieces of this card, which kind of sucks. But for some reason, this is one of the ones that a lot of people go for that are highly, highly looked after, as well as pretty expensive if you... You know, if you ask me, because for me, this card in and of itself cost me $54. Um, but a lot of listings were like 60 and above. And there was like a lot within like the 80s and 90s. But I think that would be like perfect condition or people just really trying to outsell you when it comes to this card. So I got lucky to get this card. There's like another listing that was for like 20 bucks, but it was like heavily damaged that you could obviously tell. So for, you know, for, for the price of $54, I can't really complain with what I got here. Going back to Kaiba <laughs> is the other version of Blue Eyes White Dragon. This one, I don't know how sought after this one is, but this one definitely had kind of like a, a 
jump in price when it came to me trying to buy these cards because a lot of these cards like i mentioned this other blue eyes was 50 this one in and of itself cost me 80 dollars. so this one was like a 30 dollar jump between this one and the other blue eyes um i do like this art just a little bit more just because it's kind of like him flying in the sky i know a lot of people don't necessarily like that they prefer like him on top of the battle city tower um but for me i do like the the holographic look when it comes to these planets and everything so for 80 dollars i can't really complain but man you you get you get to see how we go from like you know two dollars to like eighty dollars like it's a really insane jump in price but can't really complain when it comes to this one the second to the last card which is a really cool one that i don't know how many people know about or do know about because i didn't was this card right here when it comes to this card i believe people have it listed under true exodia uh, that's the name of the actual card uh, it's a really really cool piece we do have like the 20th i think that's 20th anniversary down there um, and the borders and everything kind of glitter with the card in and of itself this one was more of like a higher end card that uh, you really had to kind of look out for i should probably i should probably move this because it's falling off of the thing i might damage the card a little bit but yeah this card was one that i didn't even know existed but i'm glad that i found it because it's so simple yet the glitter and like the effects make it worthwhile to actually get uh, this card when i bought it it was worth 99.99 so basically like a hundred dollars uh, it's a really cool card. I don't know how limited these are, but there are a lot of people listing it for that price. So I think it's going to be like a, a standard $100 for, you know, as long as it's actually alive. The last card, which I'm happy to finally have, because you could see all of these cards. And this one is such a big jump in price because we go from $2 to $100 to Holacti, the creator of light. I don't know how many people I don't I remember when I was looking this card up on YouTube not that many people actually showcased the actual card I think there's only like two or three videos but correct me if I'm wrong of like people having the physical copy of this card um, this card blows everything away here like in regards to price I recently picked this up because I actually was saving up to get it um, the only thing that's bad about my version of this card when the authenticators actually got it was saying that this card uh, it was listed as faded but it actually came up as sun damaged so if I were to get this card graded it would not do well and you can even tell by how the card looks it's really really sad to kind of see the the discoloration of this card but at the end of the day this card for some reason is just heavily heavily overpriced um, a lot of people on ebay and even for me i do i did manage to put in this case and i did leave it within its original plastic casing because i saw a lot of people say that if you take it out of here and you sleeve it it loses the value um so i was able to you know get my hands on this and a lot of people are selling it you know well over a thousand five hundred dollars and even like the price for some of it is going down but for me in total this card cost me one thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents so basically seventeen hundred dollars um it's a pretty cool piece to have in the collection i just wish mine was in a much better condition but i mean sometimes you can only take when you can get because i know some of the other cards were like you know 1800 to like 2500 and i even saw someone selling a, <clears throat> a psa 10 on ebay and that psa 10 was like almost five to six thousand dollars so I, I just wanted it for my collection so i didn't mind getting the more sun damaged cheaper one um but you know like i mentioned I'm, I'm really glad to actually have this in my actual collection so yeah uh in and of itself this is actually a pretty long video i didn't mean it to go this long but as you can see all 25 of the takahashi signed cards excluding i believe it's called holacti um so this one's in my collection i don't know uh, how many people out there have all of the 25 because like i mentioned it is very very expensive because you go from like the one dollar and fifty cent uh neo you know the the the, Ky the neo kaiser glider here the one dollar fifty and then you kind of jump up to like you know like the 20s the 30s you know even like the the fifth the 50s the 80s the 100s and then you go all the way up to like the the 16 1700s so i don't know how many people out there in the Yu-Gi-Oh world actually have the full collection but if you have the full collection i would like to know your opinions as to what you feel like this entire you know collection is actually worth how much you would sell it for do you feel like i got you know played off when it comes to these prizes like i told you guys throughout the video i let you guys know the card and how much it cost me usd so you guys could let me know whether i got ripped off or it was a good price or even the price is going up for some of these cards because like i mentioned ever since i bought them i haven't really checked the market so yeah 
Uh, that's really it for me. I just wanted to document this collection of mine just because I find it to be pretty cool. And if there is more than the 25, let me know too. I'd be you know more than interested to see what other cards are out there that I'm missing. But if this is it, I'm happy with the collection. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, I'm not going to ask for like or subscriptions because I just do this for fun. But leave a comment as to which one of these do you feel like is your favorite as well as which ones do you own? Which ones would you like to own? And above all else, let me know if I got ripped off because I don't know prices of cards. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me showcasing you guys my collection. Um, I do have Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Like I play a Toon deck, an Ojama deck, and I know my brother runs Skull Servants. But... We're not too into the competitive side of things, so this is kind of more for collection purposes. But if you guys do see some things here and you feel like I did get ripped off, please let me know. <laughs> I'd like to know how much money I lost. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.